Keller ISD will become the latest North Texas school to ban student cell phones during the entire day. So this comes as one state lawmaker has suggested the state needs to take a stand on cell phone use in schools. Fox 4's Lori Brown live with the story. Lori. Heather, while many parents have concerns about being able to reach their child in an emergency with a no cell phone policy, Keller ISD says their plan has a solution for that. We have not entered into this lightly. Keller ISD Superintendent Dr. Kelly Johnson laid out the district's plan Thursday to end student cell phone use not only during class, but throughout the entire school day. This is a nationwide epidemic. Johnson says the majority of the district's disciplinary issues last year were related to cell phones. To do drug deals, it's a reality. Um, to sell vapes, some lace with THC. They are using cell phones in bully, bullying and harassment. While many school districts ban cell phones during class, Johnson says the problems happen in between. The majority of um, the mishap is, is during passing periods in the bathrooms, during lunch. It's also an opportunity for our kids to be social with one another and not have the phones in front of their faces. Two years ago, Richardson ISD began using locking devices known as yonder pouches at one of its schools. Students place their phones in the pouch at the beginning of the day and are able to unlock them at the end of the school day. Five schools wanted to join in last year and in the coming school year, it will expand to eight schools. State lawmaker Ellen Troxclair cited the success in Richardson as a reason the state should incentivize more districts to adopt similar policies. In Richardson ISD, for example, 100% of teachers said that their pilot program that banned phones in classrooms uh, increased educational and instructional time. Troxclair supports extra state funding to help. We cannot wait any longer to give our kids the freedom to learn and to get them away from these addictive devices. Keller ISD's policy does not include yonder pouches yet. They have to be powered off and kept in a bag, purse, or a backpack. With phones and backpacks, Johnson says students will be allowed to use their phones in an emergency. We know this is important to parents. We're going to honor that. While the school board is supportive of the plan, they know they will still have to face some backlash. For the record, my son hates this idea. Sam. The consequences include confiscating the cell phone, followed by detention and in-school suspension. Johnson says that they will consider the yonder pouches next year if the enforcement this year becomes too difficult. Heather. Funny remark with what the kids think, because, yeah, same. I get it. Lori, thank you.